Let's look at the sublimation of two different solids, iodine and carbon dioxide. For the iodine sublimation, I've plotted natural log K versus 1 over T. From that, can we deduce what the sublimation of carbon dioxide plot would look like? Would it look like A, B, or C? We can start these two subliming. Here's some solid iodine. Let's put that in a flask. And some carbon dioxide. So here we have solid carbon dioxide and solid iodine subliming at room temperature. Which plot is correct, A, B, or C? Take a minute and think about that and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, CO2 sublimes at a lower temperature, so the entire plot should move down. Or B, delta S of sublimation is about the same, but delta H for sublimation for CO2 is lower, so a lower slope. Or C, delta S of sublimation is about the same, but delta H of sublimation for CO2 is lower, so a less steep slope. Think about those three and make another selection. We're talking about the sublimation of iodine and carbon dioxide. Now you may know solid carbon dioxide, dry ice, isn't commonly found at room temperature. It has a relatively low sublimation temperature and a low enthalpy of sublimation compared to iodine, which does exist as a solid at room temperature. So with that information, can we determine how the plot of LNK versus 1 over T look relative to each other? Well, LNK versus 1 over T, the slope is determined by the enthalpy, the intercept by the entropy. So the entropy of sublimation, probably about the same. In both cases, we're going from the organized solid to the gas, so many microstates in the gas, and constrained fewer microstates in the solid, relatively independent of the nature of the molecule. So we expect the Entropy of sublimation is determined mainly by the fact that it's a phase change from solid to gas. Entropy of sublimation about the same means the intercept of these two plots should be about the same. So B and C are possible explanations. Now the enthalpy of vaporization is lower for carbon dioxide. That sublimes at a very low temperature and the bonds of carbon dioxide not held together in the solid as strongly as iodine, because we see the iodine at room temperature and we don't see the solid carbon dioxide at room temperature. So we expect the enthalpy of sublimation to be lower. The slope determines the enthalpy. The enthalpy is determined by the slope for LNK versus 1 over T. So we expect a less dramatic slope for the carbon dioxide, a lower enthalpy of sublimation. So a less negative slope. In this case, the answer is C, a less negative slope, but the same intercept for a plot of LNK versus 1 over T.